They say you can't judge a book by its cover, but who are they anyway? Well, they sure don't know the work of Dave Carlson, whose Bill the Warthog covers immediately convey to the readers that they're in for some exciting adventures with the world's leading warthog detective. First of all, you may ask, how did Dave get the awesome job of drawing Bill and his friends? Well, Dave competed with many other artists and submitted several sketches of what he imagined Bill and his friends to look like to the Legacy Press Art Department. They knew then and there that they'd found their Bill. But as he started on his first book, Dave had some obstacles to overcome. For example, he'd drawn Bill with hands, not hooves. Whoops! Hey, fixed it! Also, Dave had never drawn a character with tusks. Weird, huh? and he found that making a 3D clay model of Bill helped him draw Bill better. So how does Dave Carlson create those amazing covers? First he begins with the background, taken from ideas from the book. For this book, Dave took the title King Khan, which reminded him of King Kong, the giant gorilla who climbed the Empire State Building. Dave incorporated the Empire State Building into the cover, Then he tried three different poses for Bill, and the design team selected the one where Bill's close up. Next, he drew the elements individually, starting with Bill, then the background, and of course the biplanes, then the title, and the logo. Dave doesn't use a pencil and paper to draw Bill but draws completely with his computer. Hey Dave, nice office. He uses a Wacom Intuos 4-pin tablet. I'd never heard of that either. It's like a mouse, but more precise and able to make thin or thick strokes. He draws each element with the pin tablet, adding shading, tones, and shadows to it. Now all the elements are merged into one image. Here's another example of how Dave's sketches are developed from an initial drawing inked with added effects, tones, and shadows. Now it's time to add color. Bill and the other characters are illustrated in black and white inside the books, but the covers allow Bill to be seen for the colorful character that he is. Here are some more examples of covers that Bill has done. As you can see, he drew several versions for these two. Some sketches get pretty far into the development stages before a final decision is made. The use of computers and new technology makes this practical. Here are the early sketches from the Bogus Mind Machine. Okay, now it's time to see the final version of our cover for King Khan. Great job, Dave! On the back cover, you can see where they also added in the covers of past Bill books. There's Bill's debut in Full Metal Trench Coat, Bill the Athlete on Guarding the Tablets of Stone, Bill battling the strangest creatures imaginable on Attack of the Mutant Fruit, Bill the Adventurer for Quest of the Temple of Truth, and Bill confronting the maddest of scientists on the bogus mime machine. When it comes to Bill the Warthog mysteries, you can tell a book by its cover. When you see Bill the Warthog, you know you're going to have fun.